Hi, dear Linda. Suicide. You're gonna finish your job at Artsmed Hudson. I thought you will work here forever, not just a few years. Remember that I come to Hudson Valley because of you. So times so fast, so fast. Can't believe we know each other more than 10 years. I will miss you. I know that without you, many things cannot happen in Poughkeepsie and uh, Hudson Valley. I'm sure you will miss the community here and you will miss me. Thank you, Linda, for encouraging me to think that I was actually a fabric artist, not just a quilter. Let's put it this way. Thanks to Linda Marson Reed, I uh, visit Korea and China because I met my wonderful friend, Shui Wu Sheng. How about that for a little story? Happy retirement, Linda Marson Reed. Bye. Hi, Linda. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, you've made a profound impact on the arts and cultural scene in the Hudson Valley. Uh, your legacy will last long after you've retired and um, gone to enjoy all of the remaining things you've got on your bucket list. Um, but please remember, you know, your influence has not only impacted me, as a, a board member and, and uh, a, a member of Arts Met Hudson, but you have impacted the entire Hudson Valley arts and cultural scene and you will be missed. Thank you. Linda, you're fabulous. Um, I feel very lucky to count you among my friends and um, I'm sad that you're retiring. Actually, nah, I'm not sad that you're retiring. I'm happy you're retiring because you're gonna have more time to hang out with me. <laughs> and uh, I am going to stalk you in Mexico. Watch out. Linda, it has been such a privilege to work with an executive director who truly understands folk arts and the role of folk arts and folklore in the community. It has been such a pleasure to work with you these past five plus years and to have you help me grow the program. Good luck in your retirement and think of us just a little bit. Linda, 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 what are we gonna do without you? It's gonna take 10 people to fill your shoes. No, but really um, your contribution to the arts scene here is immeasurable and uh, um, we know you're gonna come back and forth, so we'll see you again, but we will miss you dearly. And you're just an incredible person all around. And I guess that's it. We love you, bye. Hi, this is Carl and Kathy. We just wanna say how lucky we were to meet Linda all those years ago and how grateful we are for, the, for introducing us into this artist community and all these wonderful artists. Uh, and we're not going to say we're going to miss you because we're still going to see you all the time. You haven't, you're not done with the Schmitzes yet. Hi, Linda. Happy retirement. I just want to let you know I'm really grateful to you because I remember the day I walked into Artsman Hudson and asked about volunteering. And you were the one that suggested the Arts Awards Committee. And I really love it. It's a lot of fun. So I thank you for that. And I want to let you know, everyone is going to miss you. You know that. And it's just not going to be the same without you. But I wish you lots of happy times and new adventures. And hope all your dreams come true. I think you said you're going to travel. So hopefully you're going to go to some really cool places. And um, hopefully I see you around. Happy retirement, Linda. Hi, I met Linda Marston Reed the most wonderful director of Arts Mid Hudson through Unison Arts Center, where I was the executive director until very recently. We had applied for quite a few Arts Mid Hudson grants. Uh, at one point, I was actually on the committee to look at the grants. 
And uh, eventually I started the executive director morning breakfasts uh, that we had once a month, inviting different EDs from different arts organizations in the Hudson Valley to come together and share stories and share information. And Linda showed up and was just an amazing addition to this ED breakfast. Uh, she has been such a star in the Hudson Valley to support the arts. She has really helped the community not only know that artists need financing, that uh, communities need support, but her smile and her constant support of all of us is something that every community, like the one that we have, needs. And I welcome her retirement and hope that she has an amazing time and look forward to seeing her in many other events as a retired, in a retired capacity. Thank you. Oops. Linda, you've given me exhibitions, you've given me events, you've given me friends, you've given me honor, you've given me more. I see the attentive, the kind, the thoughtful, yet fun-loving kid in your amazing eyes. The insights that they hold into the ways of artists, young and old, to be the best creators, to get them. So they test their strength with challenges and yet feel at home. Inviting artists to convene once a week, shepherding our flock for conversations and community, making a forum where art launches friendships and hatches big plans to help all of us. Thank you, Linda, for strengthening the arts community and artists on your watch. Hi, Linda, you've been so special. We saw you come in tough. Tough. Believing meeting is enough to link friends into caring, networks of sharing, daring to expand our choices, expressive of our voices, turning fragile webs unseen into our vibrant artist scene. We saw you come in tough. Believing meeting is enough. You've been so much more than enough. Now seeing you go is tough. We love you. Love you and we'll miss you very, very much. I've been a member of Arts Mid-Hudson since long before it was renamed Arts Mid-Hudson and I've watched it blossom under your creative leadership. Bravo for what you've accomplished by following your vision. Hi, Linda, Cecilia from the Dyson Foundation here to wish you all the best. It's been a real pleasure getting to know you over the last 10 years. I've appreciated your even keeled and thoughtful approach to your work and the smart and creative ways that you have led Arts Mid Hudson in its growth and its impact on the region. So on behalf of the Dyson Foundation, thank you for all you've done for the Mid Hudson Valley. We've been so lucky to have you here working with and on behalf of all of our communities. All the best to you. Oh, it's recording. Um, my favorite memory was before meeting Linda, because uh, I was on the committee to vet and blah, 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 blah. And I got to read all the information, the resume, blah, 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 too many blah, blahs. Anyway, and I I loved the background, the Bellagio place I'd still love to go someday. Uh, the connection that's international, local, local arts organization in Virginia, I think it was. At any rate, and that you lived, she lived, is this to you, to someone else? I don't know, in Brooklyn, where I had lived before moving to the Hudson Valley, which is how I got to do the phone call. So this was a, a great first memory, and then talking on the phone, and I remember my enthusiasm for living here because I had lived in Brooklyn before moving here, and I'm so glad that you caught that, came here, um, spent 10 years with us, and I look forward to what you do next. Take care. Oh, stop, 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 no, stop. Uh, hi, this, this is Jeep Johnson. Uh, 
Linda, I'm not sure you remember meeting me in the women's bathroom at the Bull and Buddha. I, I was in there doing some uh, portraits and you came in and I was in the women's bathroom because it was laid out much better than the men's. And so I was doing some self portraits and uh, I asked you if you would model with me and after some encouragement you did and, and we took many videos and photographs um, that are very precious to me and, and I've shown them, I, I had a show with them in Paris and Amsterdam and Tokyo and um, it was really, you know, we've been friends ever since and we've been to many women's bathrooms together <laughs> And I've had a really good time. I, I really, I really appreciate your friendship and your willingness to go into women's bathrooms with me and and take pictures. So um, I just got a grant to go to 200 bathrooms in Oaxaca um, starting December 1st, and I'm hoping that we can get together. And you'll join me in uh, some of these women's bathrooms for some pictures and some portraits. Mujeres. And wow. mujeres. Okay? So I look forward to seeing you again in many women's bathrooms. And good luck with your retirement. And if you want to go into any bathrooms and do portraits, you know, you can give me a call. Okay. Thanks, bathroom buddy. Hey, Linda. Thank you for keeping the joy and the beauty of the arts alive and relevant in the Hudson Valley and in our lives. Your passion for the arts and leadership has been really motivational and inspirational, though you can never be truly replaced. Please rest assured that you're, you've built a strong foundation for Arts Mid Hudson's mission to continue successfully. I wish you all the best life has to offer in your next chapter also known as retirement. Catch on the flip side. Hi, Linda. It's Sue Henley calling here. I wanted to thank you so much for all your hard work and how much we appreciate what you've done to help support the arts and encourage the artists. Wish you lots of luck and uh, we'll miss you. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hi, Linda. Stacy Flint here. Just wanted to thank you for all the special caring you've done for the artists and creatives of Dutchess, Ulster, and Orange Counties. And thank you too, Scott, for being there. Hope you have a wonderful retirement. You deserve it. Hi, Linda. This is Marie Kim Kogius. I want to say thank you. I really am amazed that you have written about and mentioned my work uh, in the uh, Gypsy Journal. Since I moved to the Hudson Valley nine years ago now, uh, that has made me feel very welcome and acknowledged and has made a big impact. And now I'm here in my welding studio uh, working on a new project made possible by the Individual Artist Commission, made possible by the um, uh, Arts Mid Hudson. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so happy. Yes, I'll miss you. And we've only met a couple of times, but uh, you've really made an impact in my life. Thank you very much and wish you all the best and hope to meet you in the future. Take care. Linda, I'm sure we're going to go on referring to the last few years as the Linda Decade. You've opened communication among so many different parts of the arts and cultural community in the area. And we'll be remembering you every time we have a discussion or an argument or a moment to remember forever. Hi, Linda. I'm Sydney Cash. And I have to say it's been uh, wonderful to work with you over the years. Uh, I find you so respectful and knowledgeable about the arts. And you have a lot of enthusiasm. And at times you've been an important consultant for me. You've been fun to play with, and you're always interested in the well-being of the artists of this community, 
and the things that are culturally important and meaningful for the community. I had the opportunity to make a print that's uh, given to the people who are donating to the grant that's uh, in your name, will be money for artists to work use for their work. It's called Adios, Redhead. And I hope I get to see you again after you've retired. Um, and maybe we'll meet again uh, in Oaxaca. Adios, Linda. Hi, Linda. I'm so excited for you for your retirement and your adventures with your husband and your puppy and your um, time spent in a place that I know that you love and adore. But I'm sad for me because I don't have I haven't had a lot of time to work with you and to um, you know create things with you. Our work time together, our our professional time together has been very short. But I'm like I said, very excited for you, and I so appreciate you having um, you know um, given me this opportunity to be a part of such a great organization. I can't imagine having landed in a better. Um, place after working for myself for so long and after having to close my gallery. I just can't imagine working for someone any, you know, any more, you know, generous and supportive and insightful and, um, and wonderful as you and, and also this great organization. So from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate you. I appreciate what you've done for me. And I wish you the best of everything in the future for you and your family. I hope we stay in touch and um, and hugs and kisses to you. Bye-bye. Linda, I'd be lying if I didn't say that my favorite memory of you was your lovely phone call telling me I was the 2019 Dutchess County Poet Laureate. But your impact was your assurance that I should just be myself in the role, which is what all artists need to hear. Thank you from the heart. Linda, don't leave us, Linda. You're gonna be dearly missed. Uh, no, in all seriousness, Linda, thank you. Uh, thank you for your passion, your, your dedication to, to the arts, to your community. Uh, it's infectious, it's inspired me to give back and contribute. Uh, I'll always uh, cherish our, uh, our trips uh, down in Oaxaca with the Sister City Project with Mayor Rollinson. Uh, and I hope to, uh, you know, catch it down there sometime. Anyhow, congratulations again. Linda, congratulations on your retirement. I would like to thank you for providing the vision and leadership and promoting a very lively and diverse arts programs in the Hudson Valley. You're always soft spoken with authenticity. Thanks for your encouragement to the Chinese art and cultural program in the past decade. Now that you retire from Art Midhansen, you will have more time for your own writing and art. And for that part, I'm very happy for you. It's been a privilege working with you, and now it's an honor helping you to retire. And for myself and for the Midhansen Chinese Community Association, I thank you and wish you the best of luck. Happy retirement. Linda, hope all is well and your retirement is coming up. So I hope that it will be a beautiful experience for you as well. The next chapter in your creative life. Um, thank you for everything. Talking with you, your introduction. Um, I'm very blessed to know you and I'm looking uh, forward to more talks with you uh, in my career in the arts world, it's Hudson Valley, and we appreciate that you are here, that you helped out the Hudson Valley as much as you did, and how everyone's grown to know you and grown to love you. Uh, I, I greatly appreciate you. Um, from all the, the great words people have spoken about you and everything, and meeting you and, and seeing you work, and your drive for all things arts, all things Hudson Valley since you've been here, um, thank you and enjoy your, re -enti your enti uh, retirement. Peace and love. 
Hi, I'm Peter Leonard, and I would, I'm delighted to be talking about uh, Linda Marston Reed, who came to us in Hudson Valley 10 years ago. And the first thing she did is she loved the art, and she loved the artist, and by golly, guess what happened? Everybody wound up loving Linda. What a wonderful performance for Linda and for the rest of us. Thanks a million. One of my fondest memories working with Linda was on the first annual Hudson Valley Gospel Festival. Linda's peaceful demeanor and calm leadership definitely made her second to none. I was always in awe of Linda's ability to effectively and creatively plan. And working alongside her is something that I am truly grateful for. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for the great memories and the learning opportunities. Be well and best wishes on your retirement. We will miss you. Well, there, we are. there we are. Here we are in the Artist Roulette team. Yes, we're here to congratulate you on your retirement. Long ago, this plan was put into motion. Today, or 17 days from today, it's actually happening. Congratulations. Yay. Yay. Linda, we just want to thank you from the Artist Roulette team for all your help and support and for, for uh, Artist Roulette, but also for the community and for the artists. And we want to thank you and we love you and good luck. And all the organizations and people and everything that you've done to contribute to our community. We are all so appreciative. You've done a hell of a job impacting our community. And thank you so much. We wish you all the best in your retirement. Que bueno. And we have a special retirement present. We'd like to give you number 41. 41. The 2022 Artist Roulette. Coming we're, up soon. We're sponsoring your ticket. So yes. hopefully you win. We're not rigging it. So even though we'll be tempted, but uh, not this time. Not this time. Anyway, good luck. We love you and happy retirement. Happy Thank retirement. Happy retirement. Yeah. Cheers. Yay. <laughs> see you in Mexico. See you. See you us in Mexico. Mexico. Let's see if we can do this right this time. Stop. Hi, Linda. You know, I've always considered myself very lucky to be a member of Artsmith's Hudson with you at the helm. Its evolution has been pretty phenomenal. And your passion for the arts? Infectious. <laughs> and your insight and authenticity has been so vital to my own growth as an artist in ways I never could have imagined. So I thank you for being a good friend. I thank you for being an awesome leader. And yes, I will miss you. Yet I do believe this next chapter in your life will be absolutely nothing short of extraordinary, with a wee touch of magic. Love and light to you, Linda. Hi, Linda. I'm glad to meet you about two and a half years ago at the Derby. It was my first step to meet excellent, talented artists in the Hudson Valley so I could be part of wonderful events with you and them. You have made a fantastic art community. It is powerful and remarkable. I appreciate you have given me supports and them opportunities. Enjoy your other chapter of life with Scott and your family. We will miss you. Thank you very much. By the way, this is Rudy Crescent. Hey, Linda. Just want to say, you know, from the first day that I met you, I think we're at the Artist Bistro on Main Street in Kipsey, and um, you're so passionate and dedicated to the arts. And then we had sub subsequent conversations um, when we went out to uh, dinner uh, with our spouses, and which was awesome. And you, you hooked me. And then we met uh, in Milton at uh, Frida's Bakery, and uh, you know, kind of close the deal as far as joining the board. It, it has changed my life. Uh, your leadership is definitely um, one to be commended, 
and uh, minimally, you know, you're really heroic when it comes to uh, the things that you've done for Arts Mid Hudson. And I know you're doing great things in retirement. Just want to say thank you for everything. And, uh, you know, this isn't goodbye. It's a, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, Linda. Congratulations on your retirement. <clears throat> thank you for all the service that you've done for Arts Mid Hudson and for all the counties that we serve. Also, thank you for me. You've introduced me to so many different aspects of the art community. Uh, I can't thank you enough. I wish you all the best in your retirement. You deserve it. Um, we hope to see you around. Hi, my name is Hannah Fraser. I'm with the Center for Photography at Woodstock. And I wanna take a moment to thank Linda for being this incredible influence in the arts in Hudson Valley and for really making this a special place to experience art, to make art, to work in the arts. So it's all those little tiny details that, uh, that have made this a better place. And thank you, Linda. Linda, I am so grateful for the impact that you've had on my life. As a leader and a mentor, I have learned so much from you and I am very thankful for the time that we've spent together. Lynn Hill once said that achievement is not about what you've done, but about what you've gained through the experience. We have all gained so much from your wisdom, your guidance, and your genuine ability to connect with others. Thank you so much for all that you've done and enjoy every moment of your retirement. Hi, Linda. Just want to say Best of luck in your future endeavors. I'll have to admit that I'm going to miss you. I want to thank you though for all the wonderful things that you've done for the arts in the Hudson Valley and abroad. It's really been a pleasure. Thank you for providing us with a wonderful staff. I want to thank you for Gospel Fest and the support that we got from you guys and all the things that you've done. So I'm going to say so long for now. When you think about the Hudson Valley, think about those things. I really, really, really appreciate it. And I'm really, really going to miss you. So you take care of yourself. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Take care. Hi, this is Judy Thomas, and I'm here to wish uh, Linda a happy retirement. I want to thank you very much for all your support that you have given me in my career. Um, the Art Smith Hudson grant that I received in 2015 for my Trouble Ball project was a very important time in my life, and I will never forget when you showed up at Newburgh Illuminated Festival and... Uh, right in the middle of our Trouble Ball festivities on the streets of Liberty um, Street in Newburgh. Um, wishing you the best of luck for everything ahead of you. Take care. Bye. When the search started, uh, when they were looking for someone to be the executive director for then the Dutchess County Arts Council, everyone, including staff, asked me if I was going to apply for the position you know, I thought long and hard about it, but opted not to. And I'm so glad I did because I would never have gotten to become good friends with Linda. Um, years of serving on grant panels, arts awards committees, Kingston Arts Commission, and years of relying on your sage advice, uh, commiserating together over things gone wrong and celebrating of things gone good. Uh, I'll miss you and your, in your position, but look forward to spending some quality time together, leisure time together when you have that leisure time with you and Scott and hearing tales of Mexico. Bye-bye. Take 1,000. <laughs> Holy kidding. Linda Martin reed Wow. We're here. Linda Martin Reed, how has she impacted my life? That's a loaded question, but uh, here it goes. The thing that I can recall, I think for me, the most transformative 
was a um, a time that she instinctively rebranded my artistic journey through a mere introduction to a guest at her at a housewarming um, that that her and Scott were giving when they first arrived here in Poughkeepsie. Um, a guest asked me my name and I went to say gold and Linda said, poet gold. And that was a total aha moment for me. It was such a moment of clarity that I'm not sure I would have taken the path that I've been on if it wasn't for that particular moment. So I thank you for that, Linda. You know, I also um, thank you for your friendship, your love, your support, your integrity, your honesty, and the conversations. But something else funny happened that night, uh, that same evening of the housewarming. Linda and I, we, did, we hadn't known each other really for that, that long um, at that moment. And so, uh, but, but at the party, there was this moment where she grabbed me by my arm, right? And began parading me around the room in her anxiousness for me to meet people, her guests that were there. And, and, and in my head, I kind of said, who's this lady to be like pulling me around like this and parading me around? But I, but I quickly recognized that it was so sincere and uh, there were no agendas. She was just doing what she does. And that's opening doors. Opening doors. And that's exactly what you've done at Art Mid Hudson for so many artists here in the Mid Hudson Valley. Open doors. I want to thank you for including us all. The many artistic expressions uh, that reside here. Under your leadership, you have transformed Art Mid Hudson, formerly known as Dutchess County Arts Council. You know, it's it's you and your team. It it happened under your leadership, and I I think that I can probably um, include others. You know, in saying that we're all probably very appreciative of what you've done. So go out in the world and experience life as you always do to the fullest. Be a great artist, be a great wife, be a great mom, be a great friend, and just enjoy it. Enjoy it all. You, you deserve it. Enjoy having that time to, uh, to just breathe. I love you, but I know I'll see you around. Mm -hmm.